Now we have praised the Polo GT on our channel quite a lot and even the country has. But I think so before TSI engines were ever introduced in the Polo, the best Polo ever sold in India was this, the Polo 1.6 MPI. And even today I think so more than the GT TSI, if you want a real driver's car, the Polo 1.6 is right up there. And as usual this is the driver's up, so this isn't any sort of stock 1.6. So welcome to the driver's hub, I'm Som Saraf and this is one of the best Polo 1.6s I've ever seen in my life. That's a pretty bold statement calling the 1.6 MPI the best driver's polo ever sold in India. But there is some truth to this statement. Let me explain. The 1.6 MPI is a naturally aspirated motor and the sheer responsiveness alone makes it miles better than the 1.2 TSI GT or even the new 1 litre TSI. The sound of the engine also plays a big role in the experience. And let's not beat around the bush, the 1.2 TSI and the 1 litre TSI don't sound anywhere near as good as this, even with an exhaust. Moreover, the addition of a 5-speed manual elevates the driving experience and this has to be one of the most involving experiences by Volkswagen, at least in India. Now the owner of this car wanted it to feel like a proper Canyon Carver. That's why when you go over to the side you can see that aggressive stance because it's been fitted with Voctelan lowering springs and TRW shock absorbers. By no means is this a very cost effective or cheap setup but at least that means that the Polo in this setup feels like a proper sports car. Head on over to the back you'll see a small little magna flow tip popping out of the rear bumper that's because it's been fitted with a magna flow cat back exhaust and something that you will absolutely not miss are these absolutely stunning TSW Nürburgring ribs which have been wrapped around with Yokohama rubber. Now before I talk about the interior of this wonderful Polo, I really want to give a shout out to TDH Classifieds. This particular car is going to be on sale on TDH Classifieds and it's a new service that we're providing on which you can buy your favorite enthusiast cars and even sell them if you want to. You'll have seamless WhatsApp integration and only genuine leads will be generated for you guys. So if you want to buy and sell your favorite enthusiast cars, head down to TDH Classifieds and if you like it, buy this particular car at a very good price. Coming back to the interior, well, we've known this interior for way too long and there really isn't too much to talk about it. But the owner has done his own bit of customization. For example, he's taken carbon fiber wrap and wrapped it around some of the door panels and some of the dashboard trim pieces to make it look a little bit more sportier. He's also changed the gear uh, knob, which looks more of something like you'll find in a VW Golf. And I really like the look of it. And also he's changed the uh, steering wheel cover and it has some red stitching and some perforated leather and everything but the real place where I want to understand this car more is while driving it so let's do just that This has to be one of the sweetest sounding Volkswagen engines ever sold in India. Now this is the 1.6 litre MPI engine and MPI stands for multi-port injection and this is a naturally aspirated motor, produces around 103 horsepower and 140-50ish Newton meters of torque. Uh, but this engine isn't about the numbers, it's about how smooth and how linear it is. Ooh, it's absolutely amazing when it comes to sound. And this Magnaflow exhaust, I mean it's not extremely loud but it just has the right tone and everything is just right. I love the way this thing sounds. Now because of the suspension upgrades, the turning radius has taken quite a big hit. But it's totally fine because the gains from this suspension setup that the owner has fitted are insane. I mean, 
The way this thing handles is just next level. I mean, you would not expect this from such a normal Polo. I mean, a GTI and stuff, I can understand you can expect some handling. But this is a normal 1.6 Polo and it corners absolutely flat, flat in terms of a Polo. And to be honest, the suspension setup isn't uncomfortable at all. Yes, it is quite low, so going over some sharp speed breakers and everything might be a little bit of a hassle. But the way this thing corners and because of the suspension setup, the tires and everything that the owner has done, even the steering feel has increased by a little bit. It's a little bit more responsive and you know what the car is doing. More importantly, this thing is paired to a proper 5-speed manual gearbox and rev it out. sounds too good this is not the best of gearboxes by any means uh, the throw is a little bit too long it's a little bit sticky but if you know how to use it it is a really fun transmission to play around with now the 1.6 mpi isn't the most tuner friendly engine out there and you can't really do anything to it the owner has looked into turbocharging it uh, putting on headers and everything but the performance gains just aren't that much so keeping it as it is and just putting on an exhaust and maybe an intake or something is the best thing to do and well this is just a pure driving experience this is not for any sort of crazy lap times or crazy draggy times or anything like that it's just a fun little hatchback to thrash around here and there which can be used for your daily usage as well so that is why this polo 1.6 underrated polos ever sold in India and it's just like a proper little driver's car I mean it's not the fastest thing around but I sure do love driving this thing and I have a little sweet spot in my heart for this thing because my dad used to have a Vento 1.6 and I thought that was just one of the best sedans you could buy at the time and the engine in it was so sweet it's basically the same engine as this and well it's absolutely amazing I would die to have this car right now but I just don't have the money So at the end of the day, I think so this is one of the best hatchbacks you can pick up if you want something that has that German feel to it but still is a driver's car at the end of the day. And uh, the guy who owns this car has done some of the best modifications I've ever seen. He's kept it clean, precise and to the point, which is how it should be. And if you're interested in buying this car, head on over to TDH Classifieds, like I said. It's on sale for a pretty reasonable price considering the amount of suspension mods and other things that he's done so if you're interested in buying this car head on over to tdh classifieds and check it out for yourself till then subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on instagram and stay tuned this is som saraf signing out